How's it going, fellow pickers? For this mandolin lesson, we're going to take a look at how to play Foggy Valley by Norman Blake. Now, this tune came to me as a special request, and I'm so glad that it did because I hadn't played it or even learned it before today. But as a mandolin teacher, I really, really like this tune because it features a lot of essential mandolin techniques, including double stops, um, some arpeggios, string crossing techniques, and more. So no matter who you are, there's probably something that you can gain from this. This is a three-part tune. Uh, so what we'll do is we're going to play it once through the whole way at full speed so you can get an idea of how it sounds, and then we'll take each of those three sections and break them up into more detail. If you'd like to follow along with the tab and sheet music, you can find that at my Patreon page, which I'll link in the description below. The tabs for this, as well as every other tune that I've posted, are available for just $1 a month. If you find value in this lesson, please hit subscribe and hit that little bell notification so YouTube lets you know every time I post a new lesson video. So with all of that out of the way, let's take a look at the tune. All right, so let's take a look at that first section. We'll play through it once slowly and then we'll break it down. So we're going to be starting on the third fret of our E string, or the note G, and we're going to play G, A, B, or 3, 5, 7. And those first two notes are going to be pickup notes, so our downbeat lies right there on the seventh fret. From there, you're just going to walk backwards, 5, 3, back up to 7, 5, 3. So G, A, B, A, G, B, A, G, and then reach over and get the fifth fret of your A string, which is the note D, and then right back to G on the third fret of E. So for up to this point, we can basically leave our pointer finger down the whole time. So from there, you're gonna play an open E down to the middle G, which is on the fifth fret of your D string, and then your G double stop. So the, the G on the fifth fret of D, and then it's third, or the B on the second fret of A. So from here then, we have this little D7 arpeggio into a little run. So we have uh, an open D, and this will be a quarter note, followed by eighth notes on the F sharp, which is the fourth fret of D, open A, and then the, the C that's on the third fret of your A string, and this is the flat seven for the D7 arpeggio. And then just walk down. So B on the second fret, open A, F sharp on the fourth fret, and then and walk up, so G, A, B, C, D. So G on the fifth fret of D, open A, two, three, five. And that brings us to our first uh, little half cadence there, so we can run through this together. One, two, ready, play. And then we're gonna go right back into that opening statement. So we have G, A, B, A, G, B, A, G, D, G, E, G, G double stop. 
And then here it changes just a little bit. So we're not going to be doing that D7 arpeggio, um, but we're going to do something similar to it. So you're going to play the open D and then right to the open A. So we skip that F sharp on the fourth fret. We're not going to play that this time. So D, A, B on the second fret all the way up to the D on the fifth fret of the A string. Back down to B, A, F sharp on the fourth fret of D, and then G on the fifth fret, E on the second fret, open D, B on the fourth fret of your G string to an open G. So that little D lick there, And that's the first half of the A section. The second half is pretty similar with some slight changes. So let's take the first half there. One, two, ready, play. Right back into that opening lick again. G, A, B, A, G, B, A, G, D, G, E, G, double stop, G. And then from here, this is very, very close to what we did in that first half, but just slightly different. So open D, open A, B, C, back to the second fret B, open A, F sharp on the fourth fret, G, A, B, C, D. And then back again to that opening statement. And our last little ending. So open D, Open A, B, C, back to the B on the second fret of your A string, open A, F sharp on the fourth fret of D, G on the fifth fret, E on the second fret, D on the open, B on the fourth fret of G, and then open G. And you'll notice that this ending is almost exactly the same as the first half's ending. The only difference is that instead of going all the way up to that D, we only go up to the C. All right, so let's try that whole A section together. One, two, three. All right, so let's take a look at the second section. We'll do the same thing we did with the first. I'll play through it slowly, and then we'll break it down.
So we're starting by playing a unison double stop on E, and we're going to slide into that. So we're going to be sliding from the 5th fret of our A string into the 7th fret, and we're going to be playing the open E at the same time. And then a little walk down, so we're going to be playing D on the 5th fret, C on the 3rd fret, and then open A, and you can keep that E string going, the open E, the whole time. It's a very bluegrassy type sound. Uh, and then into our C double stop, which is very close to the G double stop that we learned in the first section. The only difference is that instead of the second fret of A, we're going to be playing the third fret of A, and then still keeping the G on the fifth fret of D. And then an E on the second fret, E, open D, resolve that to C. So, so far. We'll do that one more time. And then, he has kind of a C arpeggio, but it's got some neighbor tones in there. Um, he's playing the C on the fifth fret of G, that note that we just resolved to open D, the E on the 2nd fret of D, uh, the G on the 5th fret of D, and then an interesting choice, that B on the 2nd fret of A, and this took me a bit to hunt down when I was listening to the recording, but I'm pretty confident that's what he's playing now, and then into the C on the 3rd fret of A. Then an open E, 3rd fret of E, which is the G, up to A on the 5th fret, down to G, F sharp on the 2nd fret, and back up to the G. So that whole run. So we can take that much of it really quick. And so from here, he's going to be doing an open E for one, one pick, and then immediately going to the F on the first fret. E, F, F, E, D on the fifth fret of A, down to C, open A, into that B. And the B's on the second fret of A. And that little run there is the same that we did just a moment ago, but now we're just turning it into eighth notes instead of quarter notes. So be aware that those A's that you're playing on the fifth fret are starting on the fourth beat of the previous measure. And leading into it, it's good to give a nice accent when you hit uh, beat one. So you'd have four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And, and that can separate them a bit from those pickup notes. So that should get us through the first half of the, um, the B section. So most of it repeats minus this. It gives you a slightly different ending. So... The second half of the B section starts again in those double stops. The walk down into the C double stop. The same run. All of this. And then this section now, that same ending section just changes a little bit. into that third section. So that last bit is A, same, same kind of thing with it being pickup notes in, so make sure you're giving a slight accent to beat one. Down to G on the third fret, F on the first fret, and then B on the second fret of the A into basically a C chord, or you could think of it as a C double stop with your third uh, on the bass, so the 2nd fret of D, which makes the E, 
and that's the C on the third fret of the A string. All right, so let's try to run through the second section together. One and two and three and four and. All right, so let's take a look at the third section. I'll play through it slowly and then we'll break it down. So we start with the D on the 5th fret of the A string, down to C on the 3rd fret of the A string, and those are both going to be pickup notes. And then into the B on the 2nd fret, and that B is your downbeat. And then two of those G double stops that we talked about in the first section. So the uh, pointer finger should be on the 2nd fret of A, playing the, the note B, and then the ring finger on the 5th fret of D, playing the G. And then reach down, get the third fret of your E string, and play that high G, down to the F on the first fret, open E, and then two C double stops. And that's going to be the pointer finger on your second fret of D, middle finger on the third fret of A, so you're playing an E here and a C here. And then take that C, and then you're going to walk it down to a B, on the second fret and then play an open A. Now here we do with some cross stringing uh, as we do a walk up. You're going to play the B on the second fret and then an open E. C on the third fret of A, open E. D on the fifth fret of A, and open E. Then here you're just going to slide the ring finger up to the seventh fret, play an E, and then right into the D on the fifth fret. And then from there you play two, G double stops, high G double stops. So that's going to be a D on the fifth fret of A and a G on the third fret of E. And you're going to play the D again and an open A into the B on the second fret. Into this really really awesome run so into that so the D a B back up to D down to B open a G and then just walk up a second fret of a the B the C on the third fret back to D and then just kind of a reverse G arpeggio so uh, you're going to play from that D, you're going to go down to the B, and then down to the G on the 5th fret of D. And then go up to your C on the 3rd fret of A, open A, down to the G on the 5th fret of the D string, down to the E on the 2nd fret. So do that much of it.
back up to the G, open D, the F sharp on the uh, fourth fret of D, open A, the C on the third fret of A, the B on the second fret of A, the G on the fifth fret of D, A, F sharp on four, and then G on the fifth fret, B on the second, D on the open, B on the fourth fret of G, and then open G. We'll do that one more one more time because it's kind of a tricky one. So from here, you're getting into the second half of the C section. And it's Mirroring the A section is just kind of variating on it. So you're going to start on the D on the 5th fret of your A string, down to the B on the 2nd fret, G on the 5th fret of uh, your D string, back to B, back to D, back to B, back to G, back to B. And then you're going to play an open A, and then two of your C double stops that we learned in the second section. So that would be your ring finger on the fifth fret of D, playing the G, and your middle finger on the third fret of A, playing the C. And then G. F sharp, A, B, C, B, A. Then you're going to go back to your C, play an open E, and then two of those high G double stops. So that little section there. And then from here, we're going to play B, D, B. So two, five, two on the A string. Open A, G on the fifth fret of D, and then A, B, C, so just a little walk up on the A string. So zero, two, three, five. And then back to that C double stop again. So three on the D, or I'm sorry, uh, five on the D string, three on the A string. And then we just have this little ending lick and we're out. So you're playing G on the fifth fret, E on the second fret, open D, up to the F sharp on the fourth fret, A on the open A, B second fret, C third fret, B second fret, A, F sharp, back on the fourth fret of D, G on the fifth fret, E on the second fret of D, open D, B on the 4th fret, and then an open G. Alright, so let's do a run through of the 3rd section together. One, two, three, 